Hi guys, today I want to share with you some planners I've been hiding from you. So if you've spent more than five seconds in the planner community, you know that we all have more than one planner. And I mean more than one, and I'm not an exception. Most of the planners that I use, planners and journals, are all bound ones. But I've been really interested in also ring bound ones because I know they offer so much flexibility and customization. But because I wasn't sure if I'll be into it, I decided to get a couple of them in a couple different sizes. Uh, generic ones, you know, low cost ones from Amazon. So then I can experiment and see if I like it or not. And of course, while I was there, I also got a couple bound planners that are new to me that I wanted to explore and also maybe perhaps give as a gift. And so I have a mix here of ring bound folders, planners, and also bound ones. So let's start with the couple of the bound ones, and then we're going to move on to the ring ones. So this one here is a legend planner, and it's a pocket planner. It is basically same size as a pocket Lectrum, so it is as wide as a pocket but as tall as a six. This little planner here is monthly and a weekly planner. So basically it's kind of like weeks, Hobonichi weeks. And even though I already have Hobonichi weeks, to me it's a bit too tall and you know, too large and I really wanted to get something that was more portable, something more pocket-like. And I saw this one and also there is another uh, maker of the same kind of a type of planner that makes that same layout and I had my eye on it for a while. And the things that I like about this planner besides this gorgeous turquoise color with this beautiful embossing in gold here is that this is an undated planner. So you can start it whenever you want and you can you know stop for a month and continue again it is not predated so i can use it whenever i want and actually i got this planner not for 2023 but i got it for 2022 because i want to get back into writing i actually used to write novels and i want to use this one as my writing planner i want to keep track of my book ideas i want to keep track of my word counts when i write um and things like that you know my other stats you know what whatever whatever i need to to do and um i saw reviews of it and what i liked about this planner is that it has it's not just a planner but it also has goal setting pages in the beginning which really attracted me and so when i saw it i um, i really want to get it and it has bookmarks it has a rubber band to hold it together and it holds a pen loop that is sewn into the uh, cover so um, a lot of these little books sometimes pen loop would fall out this one is not going to happen and so I was really excited about it and I decided to get it to use it in my writing practice. Um, I will make a separate video where I will go into this planner in detail and go through all of the pages and share with you how I'm going to use them and what my plans and goals are. But for now, it's Legend Planner Pocket Planner. Next bound planner is this Codebook Series Planner by... Keiji Okagi, Okagi, I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing correctly. I actually have a ring bound uh, planner by the same company um, that I've been using for a while. But when I saw this one, I thought it was so cute and you will see why. Honestly, when I got it, I didn't really need it, but it was so adorable that I had to get it for me or for somebody. <laughs> So as you can see here, it comes with this little portable adorable pen and if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love everything small and miniature. And this little adorable planner note, I mean how cute is it? First of all, of course, color, my favorite, mint, and it has this little cute kitty cat um, magnetic enclosure and it has a little label here and it is very very adorable i think it's either pocket or maybe smaller than pocket sized and all the pages here are it's a pre-filled um so you have your uh daily you have your filled in pages here with kitties in in very light mint kind of color and for every day you have your priorities and your to do's very very cute very portable and as you can see it has um other informational pages you have pages for you know for you to take notes or scribble things or jot down things i mean it's it's really really cute 
and it was very very inexpensive I want to say maybe 15 16 dollars something like that I will put link to it in the description down below if you want to check it out yourself but I thought it made such a cute gift for a beginner planner or someone special in your life who likes mint and kitty cats and who needs you know notebook and a pen and it comes in this little pretty box I mean it's ready to be gifted I thought it was very very adorable and this company carries a variety of other products and they are all very adorable very affordable and really good quality the ring planner that I use that's made by them um, you haven't seen it but it, it's really really good quality and I'm really impressed especially for the price that I paid for it next are three actually ring bond planners that I have here so um, as I mentioned I usually don't use ring bond planners because they are from my standpoint kind of involving because you have to print and cut and hole punch and all that the pages but at the same time they're very customizable and then a lot of people really love them and every time I would watch the videos uh, with ring bond planners I just was thinking oh my god it looks so amazing looks so awesome especially when they get really chunky and cute so I decided to get um, some covers to potentially try them out maybe in 2023 we'll see so let's see the first one here is this uh, planner by a company called smart fee and I'm sure you might have um, seen this company on uh, YouTube in other videos, but basically you can think of it as a more affordable version of Moterm. So Moterm planners, uh, ring bound planners are usually around, I want to say 60 bucks or something like that. Uh, smart fee ones are about 25. As you can see, it comes in this really nice, pretty box. So again, ready for gift giving. It comes with a cover, the pouch to hold it. And here is the one that I got. Of course, I got one in blue. As you can see, it looks very familiar, doesn't it? It's uh, basically like a pebbled blue. It's um, medium firmness, so it's not too floppy, but not too hard. And I like that part because I didn't want it to be too stiff. It comes with a fly leaf. I believe these are, I want to say, 20 millimeter rings. It comes with a pocket here, zipper that is protected by this little flop. It comes with a ruler, you know, for today. It comes with inserts here, the weekly inserts and just uh, numbered pages. So, um, whichever ones you want to use. It has pen loop, it has two pockets here, it has five pockets in here, and just like Moterm, it has inside pocket here too. It's nice and lined. And it is also, um, even though it's inexpensive, it comes with rings that have screws. That means you can de-ring it if you want to, you can change the ring to the bigger or smaller size. So it literally offers every single thing that Moterm offers and at basically half the price and um, it, it's really good quality. I mean, it, it feels really nice and when I got it, I was really impressed that it is such a good dupe. And um, again, comes in the gift box. So if you wanna check it out for yourself, I'll put the link down below. And perhaps maybe next year, I'll uh, give it a go for my planning needs. We will see. Let me put it away. The next one here, I'll leave this one for last, is by the same company, uh, Kagi, KG. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. I'm pretty sure I am. Also comes in a gift box. And this one is a slightly smaller size. So the one that I just show you was, I believe, A5 size. This one, I believe, is B6 size. And I got it because it was so cute. It is um, vegan leather, but I thought it was so pretty. This kind of, um, I don't know, reminded me of like um, English leather platters. And uh, again, it's um, with a snap enclosure here. You can see that same company. It already comes all pre-stuffed with 
all the inserts that you want um, I like this one the the ring planner that I used by the same company came the same way it has the calendar here it has lined it has a graph paper oh, sorry where are they graph paper and plain inserts and uh, you can also get paper in that size pre um, already punched and you can print and customize it and it has a pen loop and I actually got this one because I thought to use it as a cover for my B6 planner I was thinking to maybe de-ring this and use it just as a TN but uh, this one comes with pre-stamped uh, rings so you cannot remove them easily and so I decided to leave it alone and just use it this way because you know let's be honest it's very adorable just as is and again price on all of these I think this one was like $19 so very affordable very cute ready to be gifted and the last one of the ring planners that I have here in my stash is this cutie I got this one actually secondhand from eBay but as you can see it's not used at all and this one is actually Filofax so yes I know even though I uh, didn't get many name brands in my collection this one is and as you can guess it I got it because it was this perfect adorable minty color so this one is designed STN with the rubber band but it is actually a ring planner as all filofaxes are or most of them are as a little pen loop here made out of rubber band so it's expandable it has uh, inserts already as you can see they are super tiny adorable I believe they are a7 so they are smaller than the pocket and as you can see they have inserts here with different colors and they have lined ones and they have graph paper ones and it has the filofax ruler here it is super super cute I mean I, I just can't how adorable it is and again this one I was also thinking to de-ring and use it for my passport inserts and maybe make a TN out of it but because of this tiny size it is pre-stamped uh, usually filofax have with, have screws but this one is pre-stamped so it is not customizable and to be honest with you I don't think I would have a heart to uh, you know break this one in any way shape or form so I will just have to use it this way and this one uh, it, the model of it is domino soft and I believe it's called like um, a robin's egg color or something like that so as you can see I mean it's super super adorable they call it pocket size but um, if you compare it to pocket size notebooks it's more like a passport very very cute I cannot believe that you can make something so functional on such a small scale so let me put it away and one last notebook that I want to share with you I didn't show it in the initial reveal but I figured I'll share it with you because I've been dying to open and start using it this is just a bound notebook it is as you can see I believe it's uh, a6 size but it is this thick I've been hunting down for a6 with a lot of pages for a while usually notebooks that have a lot of pages end up being a5 or more you can find some notebooks that have a lot of pages and they usually made from tomoe river paper and they still do not exceed I believe uh, 200 or so pages uh, or they're really hard to come by I found this one on Amazon again it was under $20 and this is by um, company sake and it is 360 sheets or 720 page notebook it is this little I am amazed but it has this many pages so let's open it together <laughs> look at it it's literally look it, it's like palm of my hand that's how small it is but look how thick it is and it has two bookmarks so I have 
notebooks from this company or at least that generic maker because they come out under different brands i have a one in black and one in red that i use for just j daily journaling i wanted to get something smaller than those big a5s because they are pretty heavy and i wanted to get something um to use to work on my new book and uh, this one I i've been searching for smaller but you know size but with a lot of pages for a while and when i saw this one i couldn't believe it because again i looked for so long and this one is lined and so it is actually designed to be like a daily journal because it is it has a space for date it has space for weather and days of the week and it is lined uh, unfortunately there are no page numbers but it's okay because i'm planning to use it just as a writing notebook it's not going to be a daily journaling or anything like that I couldn't find one that was just lined. The bigger versions do exist in just line or just dotted or just checkered versions. But I was just happy that I was able to find a notebook that has 720 pages. I mean, I can write here forever that I can use for my book writing purposes. As I mentioned, it has two bookmarks here, which is amazing. It's hardbound, it's solid. Um, as I mentioned, I have another notebook from the same makers and it's excellent. The pa paper quality here is excellent. I write in it with my ink pens and ball points and fountain pens and gel pens and it doesn't bleed through. Um, I hope it's the same paper quality here, but either way, I will most likely write with uh, my fountain pen uh, in fine, so it should be good. Um, yeah, so this is uh, my latest find, which I'm super excited about. So here again, all my treasures, most of them except this one cost me no more than about $20 per piece even the file of facts one they are excellent finds in my opinion i'm looking forward using or at least gifting some of them in the next year you will see this one in my uh, following videos i will be using this one very soon i'll be cracking it open and going through it tonight and i'm also looking forward using this notebook for my book writing so these two guys will be working together and uh, if you have any questions for these uh, leave me comments below i will put links to all of these items the ones that i can find maybe i won't be able to find follow facts since it's from ebay but i will link to all of these in the description down below if you want to explore them for yourself if you want to see any of these in more detail let me know i will can create a walkthrough video for any of these planners in detail but otherwise i'm really grateful for you to be here thank you for going through all of these treasures with me and if you like this kind of videos please don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video you take care bye